Look at this, y'all. That's bear over there. I'm in Tonopah at Saddle Mountain. BLM land. Yeah. I finally got my app to load and I found this 50 miles from that Love's truck stop. And I'm walking up the road to see if there's a closer place to park by this mountain. But the road has these middle dips, so I'm a little worried about it. But I got through the first part. So let me see. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move over here more. Anyhow, but I'm gonna see if I can move closer to the mountain. Look at this. One of those stink bugs must have woke up. <clears throat> He's going to be surprised he's not in Indiana anymore. 88 degrees outside, 86 in here. The view from my screen door. Check it out, there's another one. There was another one too, I didn't videotape that one. Trying to get out, thinks he's in Indiana, it's summer, he missed spring. Desperately trying to get out. Haha. Ha. Surprise! You're not in Indiana anymore, little dude. Wow, check this out. I am surrounded by mountains. I'm still getting a cell signal though. Pretty good one too. Totally. I think this is Saddle Mountain in front of me. Wow. And from the other side. Cactus. The sun. There's the highway way over there. And the access road to here where that truck is. So I'm pretty far off. All by my lonesome over here. I don't see nobody else. Hey everybody, Kathy here and Bear. Uh, we're parked at our first BLM land in Topia. I know I said that wrong. Arizona. And we're getting ready to go for a little walk. I'm surrounded by mountains. Surrounded. They look little, but they're really big. This is parked directly in front of my RV. This mountain. Saddle Mountain. It's right off of 10. It's pretty cool. Let's go see what I can find. Please excuse the shaking. I gotta remember there's fire ants around here, right? I hope that I know it when I see it. Wow, oh, beautiful. I can't wait to see what this is gonna look like at night. Oh my goodness. Bear's happy. He's like, this was, a, this is what I was created for. I just can't believe I'm here. I can't believe it. There is absolutely nobody around at all. I'm trying to watch for ants. They're probably not on the road, right? They can call it a road. That's one thing I was worried about. I'm like, what am I going to do when I have to go down a dirt road? And you know what I did? I turned and I went down it. That's what you do when you have to go down a dirt road. Don't be afraid of the dirt road. Because there's cool stuff on that road. Wow, the sun's beating down a little bit. But it's like 2.30 two I think. It's probably going to look so much nicer at night. But I'm not walking down here at night. So I'm doing it now. Try to get a picture with this cactus. I can't see because the sun's in, in my eyes. Okay, I'm going to walk back. Am I in the picture? I can't see. But if I put it on the other side, the sun will be in there. I would walk down farther, but there's a van down there. So, this is good. I don't want to... Oh, there's 
a truck coming down this road. Oh, I should. Oh, that truck had a couple ladies in it, older ladies, and they were asking me if they could go farther down this road. But they were just in a truck, so I guess they're just sightseeing. I'm like, yeah, you can go farther, and I wish I could, but I probably could. But I'm not, I'm not a risk taker so much like that. No, like um, RV Carolyn. Yeah, she go down any kind of road, and I'm like, uh-uh, because look at this. Let me turn this around. How do you turn it around? Oh, shoot. Well, stop. Like, right there. It's like, wow. That looks like it would scrape my bottom. I'm sorry, but, yeah. My bottom's more important. Thank you. Can you see Bear? He is a happy camper. He's been smiling ever since I parked him there. And he's more level there than he's been the last week, I think. Man, I know I'm shaking and I, oh, this is really great. I hope I don't get scared at night being out here by myself. We can fly, one fly in the whole desert and it's got to bother me. Look at that. Get. Now there's stink bug, bugs out in the desert. I'm so sorry about that. You know, I didn't think that, that would happen. Never crossed my mind. No, nope. sorry about that. They don't stink for real though. I don't know why they call them stink bugs. Wow, this is a cool campsite right here. But because of this road, I'm not going to take any chances. Can you tell? You know, I have stuff hanging on my bottom, so I am not going to take that chance until I see other people do it and they're okay because there is absolutely nobody out here and I don't know if roadside assistance would come out here. We're totally surrounded by mountains. This is so weird. And here comes the wind as soon as I try to do a video. Oh my god, I'm so tempted to take a chance. I could park right in front of that big cactus. Can you see it? I can't even see it. It's the sun. Yeah, this is nice. This would be a cool place to get like two or three others, you know? There's little, um, what do you call them? Pit, pit fires everywhere. I'm sorry for the sh There's a lot of these fire pits. This is my first time, so I'm amazed at everything I see. Especially that big mountain. I see an RV way back there. Wow, it looked like a Class C, too. Let me see if I can get a picture of it. Check out the big cactus. Wow. So cool. No, it's a van. Can you see it? Because I can't. Oh, I'm not going to walk down there. Oh, there it is. I don't want to invade anybody's privacy. I could just imagine what Erica would say if she was still here. She would be so f proud of me. She'd be like, wait, Mom, stay right there. I'm coming. I want to go climb that mountain, too. There's a lot of mountains for you to climb around here, Erica. But you already climbed your mountain. And you got your reward. God bless your heart. I can't wait to see you again. Okay, I'm making myself some pour-over coffee. I'm not going to turn my generator on until later. So I'm just going on battery power right now. I don't have solar power. And I just have this one fan going, blowing out. I have all the vents open though, so it's blowing some cool air in. It's not real cool, but that, that side window over there is opened. Well, it's in the 80s in here, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm okay. 
I got my windshield, uh, what do you call that, to keep the windshield cool over my door. It looks like Reflectix on the other side. I bought two of these and I'm going to cut one of them up to uh, fit on the doors and maybe on my skylight. The windows do pretty good keeping the sun out. It's like a double blind there. There's a light one. If I push, I could put the brown one up and it'll be a white one underneath it. So it does pretty good blocking out the sun and the heat. And so does that blanket that's right there. It does an excellent job blocking it out. I can't believe I'm camping. Wow, check out the sky. Sun's starting to set. That's pretty cool. Wow, it turned pink. Check it out. Oh my god. Just out, out of nowhere. Oh, this is right next to my camp, too. Okay, I just want to show you how I do things without being plugged in or with my out my generator on. Um, and I'm uh, working on editing videos. And what I do is I have these mobile chargers. Like, I have my phone plugged into that right now. Okay, and I also have this jump starter I got at Walmart. I don't know if I ever did that video or I did one but I don't think I posted it. Um, but it's got a 200 watt inverter also. So I plug my computer into that. And that lasts pretty long that inverter because I know that one day I had to leave and it was still downloading a video for two hours. It said it had two hours left. And I plugged it into that and left it open so it would finish downloading and it did. And um, I had to charge it back up that night, but when I turn my generator on, I can plug that back in and charge it in, charge it up. You know, I can charge, I can charge everything back up. So, that's how I'm doing it for now. I don't have solar power, like I said before. And I have a mess. I've, you'll never see this place without being things everywhere. I just got this fan on, like I said. It's still, it's 3.30, and... It's not hot in here, you know. It's not hot. And plus, I'm drinking water with my coffee. Of course, I'm in the desert and I'm drinking coffee. Sorry, I just have to have my coffee. Okay, let me get back to work here.